Are you wondering how to save energy at home and cut your utility bills? By the end of this video, you'll have a list of things that you can do today to start keeping more money in your pocket and to reduce your footprint. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Lindsay, a proud Anthem resident and your local realtor with the Wise Move AZ team at Realty One Group. On this channel, we have a lot of fun talking about all things Anthem and real estate, and we would love to have you along for the ride. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified when our new videos are released every single Thursday. There are so many things that you can do to start reducing your utility usage and your bills. In this video, I'm going to be listing a lot of different options, and my hope is that you can take away five things that you could start today to see a difference. Some of the items listed will require some behavior change on your part, and others will be set it and forget it. Of course, the one-time changes will be easier, but I hope this video makes you take a closer look at your consumption, not only to reduce your monthly bills, but also for sustainability reasons. I'll even share one kind of weird thing that I personally do to save water every day, so stick around until the end of this video. All right, let's jump right in. Number one, understand your billing. Don't fall asleep on me. I know this one sounds boring, but it is an easy way to cut your costs. Speak to your utility providers and learn if there are different fees for using the utilities at different times of day or even different days of the week. At our house, we have different charges for on-peak and off-peak hours. The more we can switch to off-peak hours, the lower our bill will be. Number two, change your filters. Make sure that you're changing your AC filters regularly. If you leave them in too long, they can become clogged and make your system run less efficiently. Less efficient systems mean higher usage and higher bills. One of our home inspectors told me that he recently switched to using cheaper filters and changing them on the first of every month. He said that his system is running more efficiently and he's saving energy. Stock up on filters and set your monthly calendar reminders. Number three, repair leaks. Leaks can show up in the toilets, sinks, tubs, showers, and landscaping systems. And if you have a leak, you're basically throwing money down the drain. Water in Arizona isn't cheap and it's wasteful to leave leaks unattended. Check all of your plumbing fixtures for leaks. When it comes to faucets, you'll be able to see if it's leaking. With respect to your toilets, if you can hear running water when they're not in use, there's probably a leak. You can also do a dye test by putting a few drops of food coloring into the tank of the toilet. If the color transfers into the bowl without you flushing, you've got a leak. When it comes to checking your landscaping system for leaks, you may want to hire a professional to come out and test the whole system and make any repairs. Number four, reduce flow. Speaking of plumbing, you can also install reduced flow fixtures. For example, you can swap out your toilet for a low flow toilet. You can also install flow restrictors on your shower heads and faucets. This will reduce the amount of water you're using and can increase the water pressure. Fair warning, if you install flow restrictors on your bathroom faucets, you're probably going to get sprayed the first few times. I know I did. Number five, LED lighting. This is a quick and easy one. Replace your incandescent bulbs with LED bulbs. They draw less power and they last longer. They also generate less heat, which means they won't be counteracting the work that your AC is doing in the summer months. Number six, install sunshades. This is particularly important in Arizona. Installing sunshades can reduce the amount of heat transferring into your home from the outdoors. This means that your AC isn't working as hard to keep you cool in those scorching summer months. Number seven, adjust your water heater. Consider reducing the temperature on your water heater. This is a quick fix that can save money and energy in your home. Number eight, install ceiling fans. If you're living in Arizona without ceiling fans, you are not living your best life. Ceiling fans allow us to go longer in the year without turning our air conditioner on 
and they also allow us to run the AC at a higher temperature when we do turn it on. Just remember to turn your ceiling fans off when you leave the room to save even more energy. Number nine, switch up your landscaping. In tip number three, we recommended that you check your landscaping system for leaks and make repairs as needed. But do you know what would be even better than fixing your system? not needing an outdoor watering system at all. That's right, if you can switch your landscaping to indigenous plants that don't require any additional water, you can shut down your watering system completely. Bring on the cacti, am I right? So much of the water we use in Arizona goes towards our landscaping and pools. If you can cut out either or both of those things, I guarantee you'll be saving water and money in no time. Number 10, turn off and unplug. Turn off and unplug items that are not in use. For example, if you're not using your computer, turn it off. Even when not in use, things that are plugged in can draw a little bit of power and create a little bit of heat in the home. If you can unplug something without too much inconvenience, do it. Also, at the risk of sounding like a dad, turn off the lights when you leave a room. He was right, you don't need to pay to light the whole neighborhood. Number 11, install a programmable thermostat. Remember in tip one where I talked about on-peak and off-peak charges from utility providers? Well, a programmable thermostat will allow you to more efficiently manage your heating and cooling systems with your billing in mind. You can also set it to minimize energy usage when you're away from the home. Number 12, maximize the efficiency of your appliances. This includes so many different things. In the laundry room, wash on cold when possible and make full loads. You may also want to consider air drying your clothing. In the kitchen, keep your fridge and freezer full. You can always fill containers with water if you need to fill empty space. Speaking of your fridge, if you can feel cool air coming out when the doors are closed, you need to replace the seal to avoid energy loss. I'm sure that there are hundreds, if not thousands of things that we could do to save energy in our homes, but this is a great start. I haven't forgotten that I promised to share the one weird thing that I do to save water. Let me preface this by saying that I grew up on an island where fresh water was scarce at times and so it was really important to save water where we could. Okay, don't judge me. When I'm showering, I turn the water off. Once I've turned it on, get all wet, I turn it off, wash my hair, wash my body, turn it back on, rinse off, Turn it off and repeat with the conditioner. By not letting the water run the whole time, I save water and the energy to heat that water. Anyways, that's one of the quirky ways I save energy and I would love to hear yours. What energy saving tips are you going to implement in your home? And what do you already do? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel and sharing this video with your friends. Also, if you're looking for more DIY home projects, you may want to click and watch this video up top where we share our ideas to update your home on a budget. Or if you've ever considered solar power, you may want to click and watch this video on the bottom where we run through our best tips for buying a home with leased solar panels. Enjoy those and I'll see you next Thursday.